brothers, sisters. We know the context and the scripture tells us that bad association spoils useful habits. It also says, be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. You know, in order for those two things to be evaluated, there must be a understanding that you got to get rid of toxic If it would be a title that I would take for this brief message, it would be, it's time to get rid of Get rid of what, you might say. It's time to get rid of things that are not producing life. It's time to get rid of, of hanging out with people that mean you no good. It's time for you to take that negativity, that negativity, that negativity, the, the, that one that's in your circle, that's in your sphere, that's speaking, chattering, that's speaking negativity. You know, the ones that while you are in pursuit of accomplishing your dream, you know, the one that, you know, that one that is telling you how long is it going to take for you to be in school? You know, that one, you know, that one that while you are accomplishing and making goals and taking extra strides to, to, to do something, to put yourself into a better position, something, you know, that very thing that's causing you to leap. That's that very thing that's causing you to put yourself into another position, a position of success. You know, that one that is intimidated by you. You know, that one that is jealous. You know, that one that is insecure. Yeah, because you got some people that's in your circle that are insecure. They don't want to see you to succeed because they are insecure about who they are uh, them, them, themselves because they haven't found who they are. They haven't become comfortable with who they are. And so, and so, and, 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 and for a lot of us, there have been some things that God has told us to do. There, there are some things that God has shown us. It's some things that he's revealed to you and I. And some of us, we've chosen to entertain the toxicness. We've chosen to focus on the negativity. We've chosen to focus on the naysayers. We've chosen to focus on the things that are not like of God. We've chosen to entertain those vices. We've chosen to entertain those things that are, that are hindering us. Those things that's causing static noise in the background. Those things that have become ingrained in our mind. Those things that, that have been ingested into our heart. Those things we've listened to, you ain't going to be nothing. We've listened to those things. We listen to those things where people get envy and people get, we, we listen to those things. Like, why he think he doing that or why she thinks she doing that all of a sudden that person we, we listening to all of the wrong things where 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 we we see the giants in the land but ladies and gentlemen yes these giants that are in the land they they are there but these are not giants for us to entertain or to consume these these giants should cause us to even press even the more so yes david King David was brought up against. He faced a Goliath. He faced a Goliath. He faced that Goliath not with a crowd. Or I'm helping somebody. He didn't have a whole crowd of people with him. 
when he when he knocked Goliath out. Now I know what some might say because you know it's been argued. They said, oh, David didn't knock that Goliath out. God did. Okay. God uses us as vessels to manifest his work. So God needs a vessel. God's message and his strength and his manifestation is revealed through vessels that are surrendered to him. See, sometimes we get caught up on logistics. We, we, we get caught up on the messenger that we miss the message. Some of us have not received total re restoration because of who we're connected with. And, and, and if you start to look at your circle, you and I need to do a very serious evaluation. Because some of us have nothing but dead weight. It's time to get rid of that toxicness. That toxicity. You're trying to go right. And all these other things. Is holding you in a grip. Because you won't take the take that stance and stand tall and stand strong before that enemy. Because you're worried about how you may be viewed. You're worried about image. Do you really think that David really cared about his image when it came to knocking out Goliath? Because some of us, we're more concerned about being bougie. Yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to talk about it. A house that is getting renovated. Maybe through water damage. As it's getting restored, it's not pretty. Sometimes they gotta take an axe and knock the whole thing out. To start fresh. In order to get the mold and the mildew out. They got sometimes they gotta knock walls out, they gotta knock them out. And it's some of us right now there are several things we need to get rid of. It's some things that don't mean us any well that is causing us harm.
It's not a season to settle. This is not a season to get comfortable. This is not a season to accommodate negative people. This is not a season to accommodate things that are hindering you. This, not a this, this is not like any other season. This is not a season to get comfortable. This, this, this is not a season to go back to the way we were doing things before the pandemic. No, it's not. This is a season of awakening. This is a season of re-evaluation. And I know it may be hard for a lot of us because some things we're it's some things that that we're so connected to that this is all that we know. Some of us we don't want to come away from it because we're worried about what and how somebody might say. God is looking for us to take that leap. He's looking for us to take that next step. Because when we take that step, He's going to show up and show up. The question is, are you willing to let go? Or are you going to be like Lot's wife? So comfortable not paying attention to what God is doing is doing is moving them forward because she was so familiar that she looked back. And when she looked back, we all know what happened. She turned into a pillar of salt. Don't let what God has in store for you, don't let it be stopped by toxicness that it causes you, your situation, to turn into a pillar of salt when it could have been a bed of roses. Peace and blessings. Y'all go out and make it a great day. Make it a great week. Make it a great month. This is the season of Kingdom Takeover. And it's important that you watch your association. You watch those things that change your mind. You watch those things that get in the way from your breakthrough. There are things that you need to prune, you need to cut, you need to disconnect, disengage, you need to prune. You need to cut it off so that you can flourish and be all that God has called you to be. Peace and justice. God bless you.